Hi guys, day two of the uh, madness of May one UX review of the first few minutes of a SaaS every single day. And today I'm going to be looking at a, an app called Chime Social. So take the guesswork out of Twitter growth, optimized tweet scheduling, measure results, grow your Twitter following, something I'm actually really interested in at the moment. And so straight away, something I would look for would be the, the sign up you know, or some way to get in, start trial or something along those lines. So seeing a login um, feels like an error to me because I'm not going to log into something that I haven't yet created an account for. Um, so if I go ahead and click on uh, login, welcome back. Okay, I've never been here before, so I'm not sure why that message is there. Okay, so I have to sign in with Twitter, which is normal in any one of these kind of ads. So if we go back to this previous page, I think it might make more sense here to have something along the lines of um, log into Twitter to get started. You know, and that's led, that's triggering me into, into knowing that, okay, this is, this is the beginning of, a, of the sort of the trial or, or whatever it might be, the way to get in. Okay, so let's um, sign in with Twitter. Authorizing <coughs> to authorize Twitter. Okay, so nice little intro here. I know what's going on. Chime Social helps you stay consistent, stay consistent on Twitter. So you can effortlessly post during a 10-free day trial. You can schedule unlimited three, uh, threads and tweets. Get ready to start, get started. Okay, so because this text is all is all text, I can see that the, the text link here is to start my first optimized tweet. Um, schedule your first optimized tweet. This that's also underlined um, is underlined because they want it, it. They want it to stand out. Typically, you know, when you go back enough enough time on the web, we associate, we learn to associate underlined uh, text with links, which is what you've done here. So I would suggest not underlining anything that isn't uh, a link, as you have two next to each other. One's a link, one isn't. So confusing people there. I would actually turn this into a button as well and just help it stand out against this text. Um, so what else we got here? Nice simple sidebar here. Looks like a profile, calendar, drafts, analytics and dark and light. Okay, so let's schedule the first optimized tweet. Okay, I can see a lot of talk here about drafts, new draft, managed draft, drafts on the sidebar. I'm not completely clear on what drafts are. Um, I'm here to sort of schedule tweets. So I'm guessing a draft is a draft, a tweet draft. Um, calendar's nice. So it's great to be able to see clearly which are my best times to post. High follower activity, best posting time, etc. Mid follower activity. So I'm guessing the other blank areas are Okay, they, if I hope roll over, they're also mid. So I wonder why some are displayed and some aren't. Low, light, light, light. Okay, that's, that's a bit confusing. Um, one suggestion as well is because obviously you can have so many different time slots in, the, in a day. Well, a set amount of time slots in a day. Um, if you do have certain uh, time slots uh, continually together, for example, where they are the same, like a high follower, to follower activity, you could group those together and actually highlight, for example, here uh, between 7 and 9 p.m. I think it is, I have high follow activity. It'd be nice to actually just outline the whole of that and show me that actually this is a really good block of time um, to, to publish, to post. And you could in fact probably do that with everything, anywhere where there are continuous time slots, best posting time, actually join them together, give them the same color, and then it literally jumps out at me so I know when a good time to post is. Going back to this screen here, something I hadn't thought about, um, while this is nice and sets the tone, what would be really nice to get, because you say here, uh, while you've been reading this, we've already analyzed some of your followers' activities so that we can recommend the best times for you to post. That's great, because it lets me know that you're already, uh, you're already helping me to, to optimize my, my Twitter game. What would be, perhaps be really nice here is if actually you pulled in maybe the last five or the top five posts I've had over the last, you know, X number of days or month or year or whatever, and say, you know, we've already analyzed some of your followers' activities so we can best times. Um, and just to show you, we, you know, this is something that we've uh, put together for you in seconds. I don't know if you have that ability. 
you know, but it would be really nice to actually see some of your some of your tweets already there and say, hey, look, or even just show maybe the most uh, the tweets with the most interactions over the last month or week or whatever, something to show, wow, look, this is this is data straight away. Um, anyway, go through to schedule, continue back. So a new draft. I mean, I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are going to be tweets. Um, the language here, I think, I think it would be better to because we know what we're writing. We're writing tweets. I don't know necessarily what a draft or managing drafts are, and especially drafts over here in the next column. Don't have any drafts. Create a new draft or view schedule. Okay, so if I click on new draft, uh, I can see instantly. Obviously, this is to create a tweet. So. And by the way, this is very nice. It's a very nice sort of clean layout here. Um, so I can see scheduling, select schedule. Okay, so these are the suggested times for today. I'll go with seven o'clock. Okay, um, so yeah, so I can see I've got back to drafts, schedule, draft saved. This is my first tweet here, add tweet. Now, I'd actually be scared to, to, to click on add tweet because to me that suggests it's gonna be tweeted. Um, I mean, at least it says add tweet and not and not tweet now, <laughs> um, because we've got schedule here and then add tweet. So I'm going to bite the bullet and click on add tweet. Okay, now I can add another one. Okay, so this is my second tweet. Now, what happens here though? Because I've scheduled this first one for seven o'clock. If I click on add tweet, it doesn't say what's happening here. Is this is this a, is this a thread? Um, is this going to go out straight after seven o'clock? Is it going to go into the next, um, the next slot? I'm not sure. Um, so again, yeah, very nice and simple here with the actions for images, GIFs, everything that's very cool. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to think about this adding tweet. You need to make it clear what's happening. Is it a thread or maybe even if it is a thread, then change it to, you know, Add, add tweet to thread or something along those lines or add tweet to next available slot something along those lines um, and then schedule okay so remove from schedule I, 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 I would possibly you have posts saved here so you're using lots of different type, kinds of language you've got tweet you've got schedule you've got draft and then you've got post you need to bring that all together and decide on one language, one kind of language to use, because I think you've got four different names here within one section, which is pretty crazy. So I would suggest going with tweets because that's what we know. Uh, so I say tweet saved, uh, add tweet, but then obviously refining what we were just speaking about then. Um, and rather than removing from schedule, maybe. Um, actually, let's go ahead and click remove from schedule because I was originally going to say delete tweet. But maybe this puts it back into draft mode. Okay, this tweet will be saved as a draft. See, now you've called it a tweet. Uh, are you sure you want to remove the tweet? So let's go ahead and remove it. It's syncing. Okay, and here it is. Okay, schedule, remove from schedule. Okay. I would want to think about something a bit more impactful here as well, just like maybe in the green as opposed to the, the black and say, this has been scheduled. Um, I w I I'm still tempted to go for the sort of the more old fashioned, like, Okay, save saved to your schedule. Uh, and then maybe have an icon outside saying with a sort of the trash can or the archive or something, like remove from, because it seems like there is a lot of different stuff going on here for that. So maybe you could just, you know, change the, the schedule to saved, tweet saved, and then outside of that having a, you know, archive or remove from schedule or something. It just seems there's a lot of information going here. Okay, great. So if we go back to drafts, that was a long, that was a long, uh, a long way around. Okay, so view calendar. Okay, so we're in the calendar, and I can see that that's scheduled. Oh, what's that there? It says two. Ah, but it still doesn't tell me if it's a thread. I'm guessing that icon means thread. Um, maybe you want to give me a clue here. Obviously, you would want to let me know when I'm creating this tweet anyway, because like I said, I have no idea what I've created there. But also here, you're using an icon that says two, so is, are they two separate? Are they a thread? Uh, let me know. Also, it only shows the first tweet there. Okay, so let's have a look at, 
analytics. Okay, cool. There's a lot of data there. Uh, straight away, I would suggest you would want to give this uh, some padding uh, because it's, it's very bunched up against the top and the sides and makes it far more difficult to read. Maybe even a touch more line height as well because you've got so many, so much number, so many data points here. Um, you know, it gives me a better chance of being able to uh, digest and take take that data in. Can I? Okay, so there's no sorting here. You know, if I'm interested in something that's had the most engagement or the you know the most impressions, and it would be nice to be able to to, to sort that out. Uh, okay, so tweets ratio. Okay, this is all. All interesting data. Uh, let's have a look on the explore more tweet analytics. Okay, so now we're into some serious data. <clears throat> this is very wide. Um, that's not a problem. Okay, here you have the option to sort by the time posted. You've got an arrow there to show me that. Timing impressions. It seems like there's a there's a cursor telling me that something's going to happen here. So if I click, will it sort by timing? Yes. Okay. So if it, so, oh, that's weird. So the, the chevron appears. It appeared on time posted. Now I clicked on timing. It appears there. Now here. Okay. I don't know if that's a bug, but you know, sort of in the, or maybe it's just that I am indicating this is the active one. If if. If impressions is the one I've chosen, maybe you'd actually want to highlight the whole column anyway, because there is a lot of data. So that'd be an easier way for me to pull it out. Um, but having to guess that I can sort these um, these columns by just clicking is something that I'm preferable to get away with, especially when on the previous one you showed me that I could. Um, okay, I'd also consider shrinking down the length of the tweets, bring this over, because. Like I said, there's a lot of data here and you've had to truncate this. So we've got search, seven days, 30 days, tweet to Twitter. Um, okay, yeah, especially here because if I add more of these, then obviously it's gonna add more and more data to that right-hand side. Okay, and then you do shrink it down, but then there's a huge gap here. So there's, there's a few funky things going on, but essentially the, the, the actual layout of this I mean, not the layout, sorry, the, the data you're given, I, I think seems even more clear cut and easier to see than a lot of these bigger, like Hype Fury and things like that, because I mean, here I can just see straight away the impressions of replies, which tweets have, been, tweets have been most valuable. What might be nice here as well, though, is because there is so much information, is if I could actually click through on this tweet as well and uh, get maybe all of this data in a bit more of a sort of a, a readable fashion help me to really dive that in because if this has been a particularly impressive tweet I want to know why so if I can go through and actually find those details that might be helpful it might be cool okay so we're already up on 14 minutes better hurry up okay so we've got the profile thingy majigging me over here we've got a couple of lift layouts so top left we're left aligned and then down below I'm center aligned I believe and the image is cutting off slightly as well um, also, we've got settings and manage account. So, I mean, because it doesn't actually say profile or anything here. And I'm guessing because you're splitting it up into two areas, I don't know. So if I click on settings, I see here it does say profile and settings. Okay. So I can set that up. And then Okay, so there's obviously no way to get back here because it's coming from a, a popover. If I click here, oh, actually, you're telling me I can click there and nothing happens. Okay, so I'm going to fix that. If I click on manage account, okay, so these are account settings, which is the subscription, connected profiles, etc. One idea here is if you're going to do this, if you're going to separate these out, because I have no idea what settings are, what they relate to, or what the account settings relate to, until I click through, and then I have to remember that for next time. So, as you do have essentially a whole page, maybe if you just want to, uh, if I click on the profile here, you could actually take me to an entire page that would be dedicated to these two items. Um, and have them split out, because at the moment, Settings is, you know, you have a considerable amount number of settings there. Manage account is very short. 
So perhaps you could have settings and then within there have manage account, but giving it another name that might be including um, sort of billing team members and that kind of thing. Because at the moment there is a distinction here, but I don't know what those distinctions are as a user. Um, anyway, I'm up to nearly 17 minutes already. So I hope this has been helpful. Like I said, this is day number two of the whole month of May doing a free UX review, review of SaaS. Folks that are leaving comments on my Twitter feed, picking them out of there. And yep, so this is what would essentially be the first few minutes of every any new user journey. Obviously taking up a lot more time when you go through the nitty gritty. Uh, but yeah, so I hope this video has been useful and see you tomorrow on day three.